Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we want to do in this video is show you the Plex server on the NVIDIA Shield. We want to take you through the setup of it. So we're going to go ahead and we've done our launch update. If you haven't done it yet, you should get a prompt. If you don't get a prompt, you can always go down here in settings. Go to about. And select system update. Now we've already done the system update, so there shouldn't be anything there for us. So you see, our system is up to date. Before we did the update, it says you have a 3.2 update, and you just let it do its job and let it reset. Shield Android TV, 3.2, so on and so forth. So you see this is all ready to go. You have to have your update in before you can use the new features. So we're going to go ahead and open up Plex, and what it did was it pre-configured everything for us. So we select our username, and you see the announcement. You have the Plex Media Server on this device. You want to make sure that this is checked. It's automatically checked, but don't uncheck it and forget to check it again. This is what's going to allow you to actually run the server on the NVIDIA Shield. Again, you want to make sure that the Media Libraries thing is checked. Okay, when it's access in external storage, that's fine. And allow. Of course, we don't have an external server set up at the moment, so it's not a huge deal. So we're starting the server. We didn't even have to install the thing. It's just already there now. Isn't that exciting? It's asking us to wait. Hope we don't have to wait too long with this super powerful computer here. It's very exciting to see Plex Media Server coming to the NVIDIA Shield. The reason that's exciting to me is that what it's going to do is allow Plex, especially on an NVIDIA Shield with a large hard drive, it will allow it to be a standalone Plex player, and that's never been possible before without, say, a computer. What this is going to do is make it all in one. So you can actually save your media to the NVIDIA Shield. You can access it, and you never have to have like a PC running in the background, Mac, Linux, anything, in order for Plex to work. So that's exciting. We might go ahead and pause this, though, and join it after it gets done with this update. I'm going to give it a couple of more seconds. Maybe we'll do a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Yep, okay. So we'll be right back. And what, three seconds after we went ahead and turned it off, we are back. So, we've got this screen. It says the setup is complete, and all we have to do is finish. Let's see, let's just make sure we don't have to connect to anything. Da, 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 da. Okay. All right, so we're launching our Plex Media Center for the first time on an NVIDIA Shield. I wonder if, I'm sure it's going to ask us to sign in somewhere, let's see. Oh, no. Cool. It already sees us. Must be because we were already signed in before. That's cool. That's very cool. Okay. So, it sees us signed in, and it even recognizes what file, you know, what where we are. So, this is the full media server. Isn't that exciting? Let's see whether it has the channels on it. 
build library. We can access our other stuff. That's cool. That's my PC, and that's a shared demo there. You see it has all of our watch later stuff sitting up there. I don't even think I have much more. You know, some old things. It's looking good, though. Settings. What we're going to have to do is play with this and set you up something so we can see about channels and other things. So for right now, let's just take a look around. So any of your stored stuff is going to be accessed right up here on the top, and that's great. Obviously, it has a section for playlists, but since I don't have anything stored at the moment, it's not going to, you know, pull from anything. But, you know, this is something that Plex is very, very well known for, is you can take all of your digital media and access it, you know, almost, you know, like people say, like Netflix. The watch later stuff is all from, like, Plexing it. Plexit is something that you do with a browser. You can read a little bit more about that on the streamingadvisor.com as well as Plex's actual website. You just got to add a bookmark to your browser. It's really cool. And that is pretty much it. It does give you the option to search through your library if you have anything in it using the voice search, so that's nice. But this is a very slick, very pretty interface here. Looks determined to make us have a selection. Okay, there we go. So, we'll be having more on this as I figure out more fun things about it. Until then, this is the Plex server running on NVIDIA Shield all by itself. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. I am very happy to see that, like we showed you, you can select other servers. That's really helpful. And, you know, I think it looks very good. We'll see how it performs later. I don't want to do too much in one video, but I hope you thought that was cool. I think this is the first Plex video about this so far. So, you know, that's that's based on my own research, you know, YouTubing it, basically Googling it. Hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, please subscribe. And also, as always, stream on, my friends. <laughs>